promotional consideration paid for by the following. Welcome to another quick shot review for Cheap Shot Entertainment. As ever, you are the Cheap Shot Nation. And I am Luke. And I'm going to be talking to you about imaginary. That's not your imagination. And sometimes I wish that some of these films were completely imaginary. However, this is actually a physical thing that you can spend your money on and go and see. It's Blumhouse's latest low-budget horror movie that is bound to make profit, and therein lies the issue. I mean, no, it's not an issue for Jason Blum, of course, because he always makes the money. But in terms of a film, it had some okay ideas. But it never realised them because all of these low budget horror movies are what they would call in America PG-13. And that means they're 12 rated here. So, um, yeah, you're not, you probably get maybe one or two jump scares. But that's just it. They are jump scares. They're not scary moments. Um, I will give it. I will give imaginary props. The 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 spider, um, Simon the spider, who uh, it, it plays a little part in this film, and Chauncey himself. Uh, when you see the physical form of Chauncey, that's pretty cool as well. Um, yeah, that is that is pretty cool. I will give it. I will give him that. I will give Jeff Wadlow. His props for that. Also, the score is pretty decent, and uh, the composer is absolutely fantastic. Done quite a few films recently, and is fast becoming well known within the industry. I just hope he gets something a little bit better than these cookie cutter horror movies. And that's exactly what this is. If you're British and you remember. A, a, a of a certain age and you remember a program called it's a bit sir where they used to just pick the boxes off the shelf and then make something that is imaginary that is imaginary in film school i'll pick this box i'll pick that box and i'll pick that box and i'll put them all together and what have i got imaginary um <laughs> right um i'm gonna get so get you down to some facts obviously it was released in 2024 uh, it's directed by Jeff Wadlow, and it stars DeWanda Wise as Jessica, Tegan Burns as Taylor, who is the angsty teen, only after one thing, and that is boys, because she's an angsty teen. <laughs> Piper Braun plays Alice, who is the little girl who makes friends with uh, uh, Chauncey, who has no friends otherwise, because that is part of the cookie cutter formula um an old woman who wandered onto set um <laughs> it plays gloria and that's exactly what it feels like tom payne uh, plays max who is the father and the husband of jessica they've just got married uh the kids uh, certainly the angsty teen is having an issue with them being married because uh, something happened with her mum, which is the reason that, um, you know, uh, they they don't see her. Um, yeah, <laughs> do you get it now? So there's elements here of better films. Uh, Beetlejuice, for example, the, the Never Ever, which is 
an okay name. Uh, it had some promise. Uh, it never realised that promise, but it definitely had promise. Um, the Never Ever looks pretty cool. Um, even, and the set, and it was actually a physical set, which is pretty cool as well. But it, it's exactly what Hell looks like in Beetlejuice. The uh, black and white squares, the wonky... Uh, scenery, the wonky doors, and all the doors going down the corridor. Which door is it? Blah blah blah. When they first go into the Never Ever, it becomes an empty Escher, uh, Escher um, painting, very reminiscent of um, a certain scene in a better horror movie, uh, which is uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. I can't remember which one it was. I can't remember whether it was four. I think it was four. Which is dream child, isn't it? Um, yeah, Gloria. Uh, it definitely feels like this person just wandered on set and said, "Right, you can play this this character over here." Is that all right? It's like I, I don't, I've got to get back to the home for my tea. But she ended up in a movie, <laughs> and she's the exposition. So every time you see Gloria, you know a bit of the story is going to be explained to you that you already know because it's so cookie cutter and. <laughs> Uh, Tom Payne, I think, must have realised that how bad this film was, and he disappears within like five ten minutes. Goes off on a band tour. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, my daughters are in danger. Um, I'm just going to finish uh, sniffing this line. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um. So, officially, this is the blurb. A woman returns to her childhood home to discover that the imaginary friend she left behind is very real and unhappy that she abandoned him. So, yes, uh, Jessica used to live in the house. Uh, things happened. Uh, they moved out of the house. I think she went to, had to go and live with her grandparents uh, because her dad went crazy. And um, she moves back to the house because it's a happy place. But, uh, you know, even at six years old, surely you'd remember something of what happened. And uh, apparently not. <laughs> so that is how we get it. Uh, Chauncey was originally her friend. And then you get Gloria, who gives all the exposition and says, no, it's very real. Look at this. I've been doing all of this uh, research. Um, I mean, has she ever had a job? I get the feeling she probably hasn't and she's living off the state. But, oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Like I say, it is pick and choose from better films. It's got bits of uh, it in there, Pennywise. Um, Simon the Spider reminds me of the Pennywise monster. You've got the... Uh, uh, Saunty, which is a bear, which reminds me very much of Child's Play. Again, a better film, whether it's the original or the newer one, which I did like, by the way. I thought it was a nice change to things. But never ever. Again, it's been done. It's been done and it's been done better. Um, let's hope that, you know, because it's the first three months of the year that all these really bad horror movies are going to get better as people start going to the cinema a bit more that being said that being said i have been to the cinema quite a bit and it's not being quiet i mean this film was pretty full <laughs> in terms of how many people were in the cinema, it was full. Um, and they all stayed to the end, so someone must have enjoyed it. I was just scratching my head all the way through it. Um, but then I'm a horror fan, so um, this wasn't even so bad. It was good horror. Uh, it was just bad. I'm sure, you know, it, it's probably one of those films that you could... Take your 12-year-old to, for example, if they wanted to get into horror movies, and they'd really enjoy it, and that's fine. That's what these films are for. I just ache for more 18-rated films, but they're never going to get those 
they underestimate the power of how many horror fans there actually are that would go and watch these films. They don't they don't release them as 18s because they want to make the most money that they possibly can. Thing is, Blumhouse, like I say, they have like a three million budget. If they make nine million, they've made six million dollars. That's not a bad couple of months' work, really, is it? You know, I you know I don't blame them, but come on, Jason, you used to bring some decent films, and when you advertise a film that was from the makers of Megan, also rubbish, <laughs> and Five Nights at Freddy's, should have known, really, shouldn't I? <sighs> Anyway, so that is imaginary. I wish it was imaginary and uh, I've never seen it, but that is imaginary and that is my thoughts on imaginary. If you've seen it and you enjoyed it, please do put a constructive argument together to tell me why you enjoyed it because I'd love to hear it. On that note, I'm going to leave you there. We've got Ghostbusters The Frozen Empire booked for the end of the week. I am very much looking forward to that. I am a huge Ghostbusters fan. I've even got the original Stay Puft Marshmallow Man from 1984 sat in between my games consoles on my TV shelf. Absolutely banging it is as well. Right, I will see you then. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye. Yeah.